Milky. So we're looking at uh, unit four of our booklet. And with this unit, there's a bunch of different uh, bits and pieces that we need to go through for each question. So I'm going to work through. Um, there might be a couple of videos to actually cover all of this stuff because it is quite long. So please just keep uh, plugging along as you go in. Okay. So we're going to start with question one. Now with question one, uh, it asks us to think about the unit of measurement that we're going to use. Now, when we think about units of measurement, I guess we need to really think about what they are first. So, we have as a general uh, rule, metres, and then uh, if we want to go bigger than metres, say we want to measure a distance between two spaces, then we might go kilometres, and that's quite big. Metres, about like the size of a desk. If we want to measure something a bit smaller, we might be going centimetres, which is kind of like the width of your finger. And then we can go all the way down to millimetres, which would be what we use to measure, um, it, I don't know, the thickness of your fingernail. So um, that is looking at uh, length. And these are all length measurements. And we're going to work later to actually convert some of them. When we look at temperature in uh, Australia, we use uh, the little C with a degree sign. And that's degree centigrade. Um, sometimes you'll hear it referred to as degree Celsius. Um, and that is different to America, which uses a different system called Fahrenheit. Okay, so just make sure you don't get confused if you see someone using an F. It just means that they've done it in a different system. For C, it asks us about amounts. And so for um, amounts of glue, we're looking at a, a volume measurement there or a capacity measurement. Um, and so what we're looking at here is uh, things like uh, milligrams which is very small. That's kind of like uh, what you would be measuring like medication in. And then uh, miller, uh, sorry, and then grams, which is quite small. That's sort of like, you know, there's 250 grams in a cup of, um, I don't know, porridge. Uh, then you have kilograms, which is much uh, bigger, sort of like, you know, bag of flour is one kilogram. And then you have tons, which is like the weight of a car. So that there is thinking more about our weights. Um, and with glue, it could be that you're doing a, a, like a weight amount, or they also talk about liters. So this is our capacity stuff, where they're saying you can have a liter, like your water bottle is probably a liter, but then you might have um, a milliliter, which is um, you know a smaller amount. Uh, milliliters are, you know, there's a thousand of them in a litre. Then um, we tend to focus mainly on those two, but you can also have a kiloliter. And then we can go bigger and start looking at um, gigas and, you know, bigger, bigger sections there. But you don't have to worry about those for now. So uh, then, as we talked about in part four, we're looking at the weight of a roof rafter. So weight we're going to be thinking about uh, grams or kilograms because it's a roof rafter. That's probably a bit bigger. Um, and then this uh, speed, they talk to us. Now, speed is a funny one because it's comparing two measurements. You often see it on um, signs, km line hour. So we say that kilometers per Hour. And so that's telling us how many hours would you be able to do if you're driving in a straight line, not stopping at that speed in one hour. Um, as we then go down, the amount of epoxy resin. So resin is a liquid. So we would measure that in our litres. Um, then we have uh, the cost of a hammer drill because we're looking at cost. That's money. So it's dollars and cents. And that's uh, question one, done.